Hello, my champions. How are you today? Today, I'm going to show you how to make beef short ribs in the crock pot. This is going to be very simple, very easy, and you will love this recipe. What I have here is a beef bouillon cube, onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit of um, Lori seasoning salt, black pepper, and salt. And what you want to do, guys, is this. Get your crock pot ready. Get you some Worcestershire sauce. You want some lifted onion soup. And I have a tablespoon of flour over there. What you want to do is to take and season all of your meat up, okay? And make sure you get it really good, okay? All right. I'm going to use all of this. And we're going to mix it well, okay? And after we mix it well, we're going to make sure that they're seasoned. See how beautiful these are? I purchased these at Kroger's. And they're beautiful. Okay, now what we want to do now is sear them up before we put them in the crock pot. So you want to put them in your hot skillet, face down just like this. And you're going to cook them on every side. Don't get that love into the deep short ribs. Okay. So I'm going to let these cook like for one minute on each side. And then I'll be back. All right, guys. You see how I have braised goes on all sizes to keep that juice in the meat and our seasoning is going to be awesome and i want to say something for the record when cooking in a crock pot and you use alcohol which is red wine a lot of people put that on their beef short ribs you're not cooking that alcohol out of that um beef short rib because a crock pot cooks too slow to take the alcohol out of the red wine. So I figured I would put that out there for the record. All right, guys, I'm gonna take these, get ready and put them in the crock pot and let them go for about four or five hours on low. So get ready to put them in and I'm gonna show you how I'm going to do it. Let's do that now. I'm just gonna put these into the crock pot. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. They're all seared up. And we definitely want to put them all in. Now, what we're going to do next is this. We're going to go in with a few little splashes of this Worcestershire sauce. I'm going in with a lifted onion soup pack. Put it all over. And I had a, tea, a teaspoon of flour, and I want to pour that directly over. I'm going to put my bouillon cube in. And this is your choice. You can use chicken broth, beef broth, or you can just put some water in here. It's your call. You're looking for flavor. I put me two of them in there. All right. You see where I have that... Um, broth of water broth fat i used the bouillon cube beef and i filled it up with the water and i'm just going to put one more just so that it will not be dried out you want your seasonings in there well and you don't have to have three or four cups just make sure that you got it all covered all right guys i'll be right how you should be looking guys just like that if you want onions carrots and potatoes give it a jump start let this cook by itself first for at least an hour and then add your potatoes and your carrots when we come back we'll have the best beef short ribs you ever had all right guys i forgot one thing that i used that my grandmother would use she would put a cap full of vinegar in there it doesn't matter if it's white or whichever vinegar you have just put a cap full in there and let these babies rock on low for four to five hours all right, guys, I'm back. This is four hours of cooking. 
okay? In the slow, in the crock pot. And look at these babies. Look at these babies, guys. Oh, they're so tender. I'm t the bone is falling off. That's how tender they are. Okay? Look down in there. Show them down in that crock pot. Look at that. How beautiful and tender we have got our beef short ribs. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna plate them up, guys, so that you can see them. They're falling off the bone. Very good recipe if you want to cook these for Easter. Everyone will love them. Okay, after I get them out of the crock pot, I'll be right back. All right, guys. That's how we're looking with our beef short ribs. They came from Kroger's. They're absolutely amazing. They're absolutely tender. Try this recipe if you're gonna make it for the holidays, which is Easter coming up, guys. Today is Palm Sunday. For those of you who celebrate it, have an awesome day. Keep living your best life. Voila! Bye-bye.